Hi everyone! This video is the defense of the holiday rom-com. Or really just most rom-coms. And I happened to read some Facebook comments about reactions to Netflix Christmas movie called A Christmas Prince, uh, which is your very classic holiday rom-com. Cheesy storyline, overused tropes, and a very cheesy happy ending. It's also set at Christmas time in some made up European country. It's a good time. However, the comments were blasting this movie for being exactly what it is. A cheesy rom-com with overused tropes. I'm not saying that the movie was perfect. Of course it wasn't perfect, it's a holiday rom-com. There's only so much perfect you can do when you have to follow certain guidelines like, oh, it's a rom-com, we must have a romantic happy ending. That's kind of the whole point. But what I am defending about this movie and all rom-coms is that they're not meant to be thought-provoking. They are not meant to make you question life decisions. They're meant to make you feel good. They are meant to just put a smile on your face because for two hours you can live in somebody else's life where everything works out. A Christmas Prince even tried for some diversity. I have notes for next time Netflix, um, how you can improve your diverse cast and characters, but you know, good effort. One of my friends hates rom-coms and she hates rom-coms because they're so unrealistic and she thinks they give people all these expectations that, that are never going to happen. Personally, I adore rom-coms. I love the cheesy plot lines and the overused tropes. Most importantly, I love the happy endings. And I think the reason why I love them and my friend doesn't is because I recognize that they are fictional. I just enjoy escaping to the world of fiction every so often. But seriously, rom-coms exist so that we can feel happy about somebody else's success. They make you feel good about life for the two hours that they run. But I would never argue that a rom-com is thought-provoking. I would never argue that a rom-com has some deep meaning. Because they usually don't. But what they do have is hope. And as you know from my video a few days ago, I'm a big believer in hope. And rom-coms make me hope. They make me hope that things will work out for me and for everybody I care about. They make me hope that tomorrow is going to be better. And they make me hope that maybe one day I can have my own rom-com ending. That is the point of a rom-com. Not to make you think or reevaluate your life. They're just there to make you feel good. And if they have to reuse these old tropes over and over and over again, sure. Why not? Like, they work. That's why they're overused, because they work in that setting. So, if you're gonna say something about a rom com, Make sure you recognize that it's a rom-com first, and not some deep dramatic movie. If rom-coms aren't your thing, don't watch them. That's fine. Now, if y'all will excuse me, I think I'm gonna go watch A Christmas Prince again, because I love that stuff. It's great. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!